So uh, in the hospital, 13 days, I have an implantable device in my chest. Okay. I had four broken ribs. Excellent. Thank you. You know, never yeah. thought about, you know, because there are people that talk about this good Samaritan stuff. And it's like, man, if mm -hmm. I if I if I do CPR and I break somebody's ribs, I don't want to get sued. It's like, dude, yeah. I swear to you, that was the last thing on my mind, dude. I yeah. didn't think about suing anybody, you, anybody. You were happy to be alive. I was right? alive. <laughs> That was so great. And so one one piece of this, I, I think one of the things we had talked about before we started was that we need to talk about what uh, what we would like other people to learn from what we've been through. Yeah. And one of those is directly at the medical care uh, system that while our survivors and co-survivors are in the hospital, yeah, we're so blessed and lucky to have survived it. But now real work has to happen. And this event, the first piece of it almost cost me my whole family, man. Yeah. Because my post-traumatic stress from the Gulf War smashed into post-traumatic stress of cardiac arrest and my mortality being right up in my face. 